Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you this really cool hover effect. So we have these four nav bars here, and when we hover over it, you'll notice that the background changes color, and also you'll notice that this big text appears behind it. So let's try hovering over about. That's going to turn purple, and contact will turn it green, services will turn it yellow, and it also displays the word back there for us to see. So let's get right into the video. So I'll just get rid of all this and start all over again. So we can go into our body and create a nav for our nav bar. And we can create a UL, which stands for unordered list. And we can do LI times four because we want four LIs. And we'll give this one an ID of home. This one will be an ID of about, and this one will be contact, this one will be services. And now let's go label them. So this will be home, about, contact, and service. So let's go take a look at what we have so far. So we have these four bulleted points with the labels of home, about, contact, and services. One more thing we want to create in our HTML is a span, and we'll just give it an ID of BG text. And in here, we'll just type something like placeholder, just as a placeholder text, so we that, so that we can see where it is located on our browser for now. And that is pretty much all we need for our HTML, so we can go into our style tags and start styling it. This is optional, but you can also give it a title. I'll just call it nice hover effect. And inside of our style tags, we can import these two fonts right here that I got from Google Fonts. So if you want to find those, you can just go to fonts.google.com and you can find them there or maybe choose a different font for mine. Anyways, let's go back to Visual Studio Code and give our body a background color of F83A3A, which is going to be this reddish tomato color. And one more thing we forgot, we should have given our allies a value attribute and in here we'll pass in the color so when we hover over the home bullet we want the color of it to be f8 basically the color that we gave up here so I'll just copy that and paste it in there and obviously you don't have to go with my colors you can pick your own color by finding an online color picker or go to this link right here that I'll have linked in the description below so we have this color palette right here where we can just pick our custom color and it will give us the hexadecimal color value down here for us. But yeah, you, you don't have to go with my colors. You can just pick your own color and embed it into the HTML yourself. Anyways, let's give this 9B1FE8. This one will have a value of money sign, I meant not money sign, hashtag 66FF00 and value equals hashtag FF. FF12. Then after that, we can style our UL and do list style type none, which will take away those bullet points. And let's also do display flex and see what that does. So now it's positioned horizontally, and and now all of those words are sticking next to each other without any spaces in between them. And then we can do text align center flex direction column position absolute top 50% left 46 percent and now let's see where it is located at it's not quite in the center yet let's do transform translate negative 50 percent negative 50 percent and now that should be in the center perfect all right now we can style our li's that are within our ul tag so we'll just give them each a margin left of 70 pixels which should give them some breathing room now now they're not touching each other anymore so if I were to comment this out or get rid of it, you'll notice that it doesn't do anything, but okay, we can keep it. Font size 4rem, font family, quicksand, sans serif. So I got quicksand from this link right here that I got from Google Fonts. So make sure you go check that out. And then we can do color white because white shows up better on this reddish tomato background than black and then we can do cursor pointer so that when we hover over those li's our cursor will turn into a pointer as you can see here and then we can do background rgb 65 65 63 
so it will be this dark gray color and then we can do padding 8 pixels 13 pixels so this first value will set 8 pixels for the top and bottom and 13 pixels for the left and right so as you can see the top is being spaced out 8 pixels from the text itself top and bottom including and the t left and right side is being spaced out by 13 pixels of padding if that makes sense this is the shorthand you can also do 8 pixels 8 pixels 13 pixels 13 pixels which will do the same thing but that's just a long hand we can do it using the shortcut which will save us some time so there we go it does the exact same thing and we can also give it an opacity of 0 0.3 so 30 percent so that when we hover over it it will convert itself back to an opacity of one which we'll add in a minute which is the hover property and we can also do transition 0.3s so that it's going to be a nice smooth transition if we didn't give it it's going to happen all at once then border radius margin top 40 pixels and now they're spaced out from each other now that looks much more clean and we can give our li a hover effect and set the opacity to one like i was saying earlier and we can do transform scale 1.1 so that it increases in size by 10 percent when we hover over it so now let's try doing that okay great it's working the way exactly the way we want it to and now we can go back to our css and create a class called toggle hide and set this to display none so that whatever element has this class will not appear on our browser and we can style our bg text span and just do font family poppins which as you may have guessed i got poppins from this link right here from google fonts and we'll just give it some more basic styles so rgb 65 65 63 if you want to, you can skip forward a little bit since these are very basic styles. 12 rem, position absolute, top 50%, left 50%, transform, translate, negative 50%, negative 50%, and let's do letter spacing 30 pixels. Z index, negative 10 or any number larger than that in the negatives. So you can do negative a million or something like that just to ensure that it's always below all other elements on our web page. So let's just set it to 100, just for fun, but you don't have to go that high, or that low, should I say. <laughs> and we can do text shadow, one pixels, negative one pixels. And there is a pattern here, I'll show you what I mean in a second. So we can do RGB 65, 65, 63. So notice how the text shadow is the same color as the font color itself. And I will type a comma after that, and then highlight all this. So we're going to copy it and then paste it down three more times. And what we want to do from here is change this to two, this to three, this to four. So basically we're incrementing and decrementing our value by one every time. And that should give us this isometric text effect that I showed you in, in one of my older videos. So if you haven't seen that yet, you can go watch that now. I'll have it linked in the description below as well as the cards. And now we're done with all of our HTML and CSS. This is where the fun part starts. So as you can see, the only thing that our hover effect is doing is that it's changing to an opacity of one and increasing in size. That's really all it's doing right now. We want it to change the background color of our browser. So that will require some JavaScript to do that. So let's go do that now. So I can initialize a few variables starting with home and grab my home li. So I can do document.getElement by ID home and do the same for about contact and services. You guys should know how to do DOM manipulations in JavaScript by now. So I'll just skip forward a little bit to, so I'm not wasting any of your time. Okay, once we're done initializing all those variables there, we can create another variable called BG text and get our BG text span that we have right here and we can create an array called nav and put all those variables in that array so that we can loop through it or use the for each method and we can do home dot add event listener mouse move which in javascript just means when you're hovering over it and we're going to use an arrow function and we'll do document dot body 
dot style dot background equals this color right here or we can just do home dot value so now if we save that and go back you'll notice nothing changes because the background is already that tomato-ish red in the first place but once we set it to a different color you'll see what I'm doing so we can do about dot add event listener mouse move and we just want to do document dot body dot style dot background equals and then grab the color right here that we gave our about paste it in there now if we hover over it you'll notice our background color changes to purple and we can do that for our contact as well and just do document dot body dot style dot background equals this color right here and one last one services and we'll just do document dot body dot style dot background equals this color right here and now if we try hovering over each of these you'll notice our background color is now changing perfect everything's working so far but we're not done yet we still have to loop through our nav array that we created earlier or use the for each method so I'll just use that nav dot for each and we'll just want to do give give it a parameter of nav or something like that you can essentially call it anything you want it doesn't really matter as long as you type it the exact same way when you're using it in the function and we just want to do nav dot add event listener and the event we're looking for is mouse move again and we'll just use an arrow function and we can do bg text so that's going to be the span right here and we're going to be setting its inner html to the nav itself dot id so we're going to set it to the id of the nav which is all these right here so now if we hover over each of these boxes you'll notice that the placeholder text will change according to which one we hover over so if i hover over this it'll change the service this will be contact about and home and we want to create one more thing which is we want to give our nav bar a second event listener which will listen for when we hover off of it and we'll just want to do bg text dot inner html equals an empty string so it's basically nothing so if we hover over this and hover off of it that goes away but the background stays the same so if we want that to go back to the way it was originally we can just do first we have to use a set of curly braces like this since we're typing more than one line side of this function and we can just do document dot body dot style dot background equals and then grab this color right here just like that and now when we hover off of it so let's say we hover it over this when we hover off of it it'll turn back to this tomato red color and that's really all there is for this project I hope you guys enjoyed the video and understood what I taught you if you found value in this video and enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and subscribe to show some support for my channel other than that thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video